A very good morning from Washington, uh, from the Olympic area or the Olympic National Park area of uh, Washington, uh, east of um, Seattle. Uh, I'm going to be doing Mount Eleanor uh, hike today. I'm going to grab real quick a cup of coffee. We'll get rolling. Cup of coffee is in the extra high voltage Java coffee. That's what it said on it. So now we're off to Olympic National Park uh, to go get the hike done. Ugh, I'm really excited about it. Let's go. I hope it really doesn't rain uh, out there because the forecast today says it's going to be raining um, like 60-70% chance of rain. So well, if it does rain, I guess we're still walking. If it ain't raining, it ain't training, right? <laughs> I guess. So, um, no matter what happens, we're gonna get through this. This part of the state is so green. Um, um, Olympic National Forest, or the Olympic region of this uh, state, Washington, it's called Evergreen. So, it rains a lot here. So, hence, you see the forecast up on top, um, you know. Yeah, this is this is really beautiful in the morning, 7 a.m. Um, really nice um, weather. Looks like a little bit of uh, clean weather out in the north uh, towards Canada. Canada is only an hour away from here, by the way. So uh, we are pretty close to Canada. So someday I'll go to Canada too. But yeah, such a beautiful day out here. I hope it doesn't rain, like rain a lot. Whoa, just look at this man the state is beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous this is a lake there are a lot of homes uh, right next to the lake as I'm driving on the road but um, wow this looks like um, like a fjord you know you have uh, the mountains on the side and the water goes through but my goodness look how green this is I wish it was this green in California Whoa. Just so green. I just stop here um, on my way to the hike because this view is gorgeous. Okay, <clears throat> let's let's get moving. So this uh, drive does remind me of um, you know the drive through the redwoods in California. Though this is Olympic National Forest, um, we are about to enter Olympic National Park as well. Um, yeah really uh, tight roads, big trees right next to each other, though these are not redwood trees, these are some other trees. It looks like redwood trees. Well, maybe they are redwood trees, because they look very, very similar. Um, gorgeous, so green. Even the ground is green. Okay, now we are on the unpaved road. I gotta be careful. My car is not 4x4, four four, but um, yeah. Thank you, God, for some blue sky. Please, please, please. More blue sky. That's what I need for this hike. I don't mind if it's rain, you know, if it rains too, but I'm gonna get through this anyways. But wow, check this out. Gotta drive on the dirt road for about two miles before I, uh, okay, I need to slow down a little bit. Ooh, to avoid the bumps and stuff. They're so curious about me. They're like, who is this new person out here? Hello. There they go. Ah, look at this. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Hey, where are you going? Okay.
So you know the trail is pretty well marked, but it's a steep seven mile uphill climb. Beautiful. I have a gallon of water, some, uh, you know, some nuts, and I had coffee this morning, so I'm good to go. Boy, this is gorgeous. Take a look. I hope it really clears up. Looks like that's Mount Eleanor. Eleanor or Eleanor. That's where I'm heading up to. It's a steep, I think, 2,000 mile, maybe 3,000 mile climb up the mountain. But it's it's a climb. And the path is pretty well lit, you know, like or pretty well uh, marked. So it's not like you'll get lost in the trail, even if you don't have any maps. You just need to follow this trail and You'll get to the top of the mountain. Man, the fog and the and the trees are beautiful. One thing of coming in the morning, the one good thing about coming in the morning is, you know, you have these beautiful views. The the fog just, you know, the fog is still there in the forest, and you know the sun is not uh, too high up in the sky to dry all that fog up. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So the real uh, strenuous part about this hike starts about now. Uh, I saw on the map, so it's gonna keep just going up, 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 and up until I hit the mountain. So you see, I've been coming down from uh, from bottom right there. So, all right, now time to get moving and get myself together and push for it. You know, I'm the only one on this trail. There's nobody else. It's a good thing I brought a big one gallon of water, you know, just in case, and some food. So it looks like the wind started to pick up. I need to probably pull out my jacket, put my jacket on. I'm not sure if you can, if you can hear the wind, you know, uh, making that noise from the, uh, you know, going through the trees. It's pretty loud. It's like whoosh, whoosh kind of sound. Man, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so there is a summer trail that goes um, this way. But when it's winter time, I guess it's uh, snowing, you go this way. So there are two routes. This route and that route. You'll see the sign up there on the tree. Summer trail. Well, since it's fall, it's still kind of, you know, end of summer. Tip of the summer. Or not tip, the end of the summer. So, we're going to go to the summer trail. This is actually shorter, the summer trail. The winter trail, I saw on the map, is longer. So, yep, I'm going to take uh, the summer trail. And man, aren't I lucky that it's not raining. Uh, you know, the forecast says about 70% chance of rain. And in this part of the state, it rains a lot. But for just these two or three hours, I'm lucky. Thank you, thank you God. Okay. Damn, it's a lot of uphill climb. It's not difficult, it's just strenuous. Anybody can do this. Wow. So I've been coming down from there, but man, look how gorgeous this is, so green, okay, the squirrels here are so cute. I can hear myself echo, that is so cool. <laughs> Mount Illinois. 
get it on top of it. Look at this. Well, you can't see anything, but made it, made it, made it. <laughs> wow, it was uh, not an easy hike, I would say. Uh, a lot of climbing, but man, it's beautiful out here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on the camera and you can see Mount Eleanor. Get over here. Oh, it's uh, it's windy. Nothing to see. <laughs> oh, hey, my friend is here. Hey, you followed me, huh? Now it's just a matter of uh, getting back down. Uh, wow, it's amazing how fast I get down from top of that hill. All the way up there. I think it's that one. And I just got here in like 10 minutes. When I was going up, boy, it took forever. But yeah, I just need to get down now and get back to some, uh, get back to the road and get, get going. Go back home. Man, this weekend was great. A day in Seattle and a day hike in this beautiful Mount Eleanor. So it's checked off my book. Ooh, anybody need some wood for fire? Well, I guess they're too dry or too wet <laughs> for fire. So ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. I wish I had music. Man, I forgot to download the music. If I had music, I would have been walking even faster. You know, play some Bad Bunny, J Baldwin. <laughs> so, all right, let's get rolling. Yeah, I'm moving. Here, I got lost a little bit for, uh, you know, and I was looking for the trail. So, right here in the rocks. So I need to be careful going back down. So as soon as I get done with the hike, it starts to rain. Now that's called some luck. <laughs> I'm glad I came here in the morning, got my hike done, because boy, right now, it's pouring. Well, not too much, but still, it's pouring. So, all right, let's get back out now. Man, in places like this, I wish I had a 4x4. <laughs> well, you don't really need a 4x4 here, I guess. Uh, you can two-wheel drive this fine, but, you know. If you have a 4x4, four four, you get to come here often in places like these and you get to go uphill and you know you don't have to worry about being stuck anywhere. About, or don't have to worry about, you know, I guess, big potholes too. Well, I guess you need an SUV for that, but... Yup. Still, pretty chill. Okay, changed my shirt and now I'm heading back. Heading back to uh, um, California. Oh, dude, what happened here? Something bit me here? What the heck? But anyways, yeah, I'm excited. That was a great, great um, uh, hike up the mountain. People start showing up around 11 a.m. And they were asking me, is there nice views up there? No. It's still, it's, uh, it's still pretty cloudy up there. Uh, I wish it was sunny. If it was sunny, You'll be able to see the lake. You'll be able to see uh, Mount Rainier, uh, which is on the other side from uh, Olympic area, Evergreen uh, area of the state. Yeah, what a fun day. What a fun weekend. Now this is what I called weekend rendering. Um, I left my home Friday night after work, uh, one day of Seattle, and now we got one day of hiking here in the Olympics. Boy, what a beautiful place. And California got all the wildfires. So, not much to see there right now until the wildfire clears. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Oh, there's a car coming. Oh, boy, slow down. Oh, hey, what's up? You from California too? <laughs> all right. You know, you get excited when you see somebody from uh, your own state. <laughs> Okay, let's get back. Well, as I get down the mountain, the sun is out. 
I wish it was sunny at the top of the mountain. It would have been nice. But I'm not complaining. It was great. It was great. My Olympic National Park and the Olympic National Forest. It was great visiting you. It was wonderful. You were checked off from my book. Now I gotta go back home and make it on time or tomorrow's work. Alright. Man, beautiful place. If this place has internet, like if this place legit had in internet like high speed, man, I would work from here. 